What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We about to get into Queen Naja ex-husband Chris explain why Clarence won't marry her. Lena defeated. I don't know. Obviously, I reported that Carmen <coughs> has decided to leave Corey again. Now, after all of this hit social media yesterday, she decided to go on to her Instagram and put out a public statement announcing how embarrassed she is for actually allowing this to happen. She states, as a woman, I'm disappointed and embarrassed of myself for the things I allowed to happen, for allowing myself to be last always, I don't even want to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, 1222 in the chat, which means, look it up, look up 1222. But, Karma got away from this fool, y'all. Started getting her bread up, and granted, she did not have to be with Michi, no ma'am. She could have played the Michi game and went on to the next whatever situation. But for her to go back with that fool... After he said all that disrespectful, distasteful, you know, just low. Oh, he was so low, right? All that to her. I, I just, I, you know what gets me? The fact that he took her channel, was taking the money and gave it to his, her doppelganger and what bothers me about that is you know when it was time for her to have her own money to take care of the kids you know in the event of them breaking up he took her money so that let me know that he didn't care about how she was gonna eat or how them kids was gonna eat um because he felt as though if i ain't gonna be around you gonna have to have me to eat you know and i think that's his I think that's his motto. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't going to give her nothing. I'm going to starve her out. And when she needs something, she'll be back. And for her to allow him to do that, and call her an immigrant, I mean, completely disrespect her. Oh. There's a lot y'all won't understand, just like I don't understand a lot that happens in my life. The person that I used to be was soft, sweet, caring lover and always knew how to pick myself back up, but I lost her a long time ago. And now my focus is to get her back because I'm in such a dark space emotionally and mentally. But every day I push through, I'll confess I had bad thoughts during these past months. After my best friend Tay passed away in January, my life took a different turn, but I don't question it much because I know it's God's work. He doesn't make mistakes. My kids have been my salvation. They don't even know how important they are in my life right now. They don't know that their little hugs and kisses snap me out of my dark thoughts. I try to always remain myself and remember that we are human. But Damn, knowing how a person long? could have done something so effed oh up, God. it's like it was never done. And it's normal because people go through it. I agree. But my heart's still broken. Wait, my trust's King still broken. Do another video? I'm still I mean, lost damn. and feel King stuck. Elena? No matter all of the names I'm being called, all of the bashing I get, no matter what people say about me or have felt about me, my heart is pure. I'm genuine. My soul just lost. I'm finding my oh, way yeah. back to it because there's so much I want to do in life for me and my kids. I work on not being on these apps as much because it's full of negativity and it's not good for my mental health. I got this. And if you have gone through something, just know it won't last forever. And God got us. I honestly just want to be left alone. It's time for yeah i can't do it y'all can read it if you like it's uh on instagram as well i already read it um i wish her the best and i hope that she does gain control of her destiny and her worth and realize you know who karma really is section below let's move on to this next topic with neek and lena now yesterday king and lena posted a video titled here's what really happened now in this video people assumed that they were going to be talking about this neek situation 
when they really weren't. So people were like, are they trying to profit off this situation by a clickbait <laughs> title? Then Lena went on to Twitter yeah. the other day and she posted, I feel so defeated because she was still getting a lot of backlash after she posted her video on this situation. So it appears that she's just done talking about it because yeah, she felt so. like she's losing the battle. But you guys leave your opinions on that down in the comment section. Until she keep it all the way hot, mind her business. I, you, should, you should not feel more um, defeated than them two. They should be the only two defeated for real. Like, and I'm talking about with each other because they just can't get, you know, their co parents and ship together. But, Lena, you shouldn't be defeated. And I, it might be postpartum, but there's no reason for her to feel defeated. Below. Now, let's move on to this next topic with let them niggas handle their shit. Period. Queen Clarence and Chris Sells. Now you guys remember a few days ago I reported on this situation with Clarence and Queen. Now social media was reacting to Clarence and Queen answering a question about a couple that's been together 10 years and they're not married. Now a lot of people in the comment section was throwing this back on Clarence stating that he doesn't want to marry her, that he's never going to propose and that Queen is just allowing it. So now Queen Nigel's ex husband Chris Sells posted a video on his YouTube titled the real reason a guy don't want to get married now people in his comment section were saying that he was being very messy for posting this video but here's what Chris had it sounds like somebody trying to fight Or niggas is just loud. Had to say <laughs> about why a man doesn't want to marry his girlfriend after they've been together for so long. I'm about to do this little reaction video. But first we're going to get on the topic of why a man don't want to marry his girlfriend. Uh, we about to watch this video. I ain't even going to say What's too much. We're going to watch it and then we're going to put our input in the video and see what bro got to say. You know. What's in Chris' mouth? So, all right, hold up. All right, let's see what bro got to say. One of the things that's happening a lot in today's world is, uh -uh. is something that I, I've called in the me. past. I gave it a little label, a little name called Trap Baby. <laughs> Sorry for laughing, but I called it a Trap Baby because, you know, we always hear stories of women trying to trap men by getting pregnant but i think a lot of people don't are those new teeth is that a grill i don't know about y'all but if i'm in love if if i'm in love i can't speak for every man so if, what is going on with his teeth what what is this if i'm in love with you this we get married me. like i'm not i ain't wasting no time like we getting married we don't know we got to do we having our wedding i want to have a big ass wedding I never had a wedding, so like I feel like when I get married, I want a I want a big ass wedding. So if I'm in love with a girl, we getting married for sure. Hands down. Let's see what bro has got to say, cause bro, you know, let's see. I don't understand how there's men trying to trap women by impregnating them. It's a it's a more than it's it's a common occurrence that people just really don't know or understand speaking of unresolved trauma oh yeah yo i'm going i want to be a marriage counselor so i'm giving up youtube to be a marriage counselor so uh if y'all need help with y'all relationships come to me dm me on ig uh man or female uh it don't matter like i'm i want to be a you feel me like i'm i'm ready to be like a marriage counselor type shit right do y'all think a man shouldn't have to marry a female if, if, take me out now, if she do everything for him, like, she give him everything that a wife supposed to get him, uh, give him. So, I feel like 
What's the purpose of marrying somebody if you're going to give them everything? You feel me? What y'all think? Let me know down in the comments. I don't know. Maybe I'm, you know. To any of them? What's up with your mouth? <laughs> That's what I want to know. What's, what's going on? <laughs> I want to know. Like, not saying anything is wrong with his teeth. What I'm asking is, okay, why is he talking like that? That's what I want to know. What what's to making him talk like that? Um, <laughs> I think that y'all are blowing this marriage bullshit out of proportion. That's what I think. That's number one. Number two, I think he's a grown ass man. And when he decides he want to do whatever it is he want to do, that's what he going to do. That's number two. Number three, before you get married to a person, it's a lot, it's a lot of factors that play into that. First is y'all's unit, you know, not y'all's unit, y'all's um relationship, your vibe, your, your thing. Y'all as a unit is what matters. Excuse me, it's God. Your unit is second and family is third. Are y'all forgetting certain things or I don't know. Do what you may with that. Um, it's a lot of factors that play into that. And I just think that y'all should consider the factors. Yeah. But anyway, let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.